You know the story of Sadarabad, Bash Abaran, Karikisele, where Armenian peasants went out and fought against the Turkish army, the Kazim Karabekir. You know the story of how Armenians were pressed to the end. And the leaders of the republic sent a delegation to Gumri, which was Alexandropol in those days, and another delegation to Moscow to try to stop these Turkish armies from finishing the genocide, which is what they were up to. <clears throat> what happened was that the treaties signed were very unfair treaties forced to the Arme upon the Armenians in a very, very difficult situation. And today the Turkish government is demanding that as part of opening the borders to Armenia, Armenia has to accept the treaties of Alexandropol and the Treaty of Moscow and the Treaty of Batumi. <clears throat> You folks, many of you have been to Armenia. My wife and I were there in 1993. You remember that day? That was the time when the Karabakh War was at its top pitch. <laughs> that was the time there was no heat, no light in Armenia, no electricity. That was a time when people were chopping down trees and going hungry. And my wife was there and we experienced it. We have an obligation to Armenia to see that Armenia becomes a safe haven for all Armenians, that it prospers. And therefore, at times, we have to take that in consideration as we work for our proper political ends. So I want to thank you, and I want to thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to say a few words. God bless you all. God bless America. And God bless the Armenian people. Thank you. Thank you.